It's hard to imagine what life would be like without computers. In the past 57 years, the computer has grown from a curiosity to an everyday machine that helps us in our work, education, and recreational activities. And while computers have become commonplace and in many ways irreplaceable, most people do not know who invented this wondrous machine. Many would be amazed to know it was a professor at Iowa State University. John Vincent Adanasoff had a problem. His students were taking weeks to mechanically calculate the linear equations used in their physics courses. He knew there had to be a faster way. So in 1934, Adanasoff began to explore some of the principles that he would later use in a new computing device. From 1939 to 1942, with the help of graduate student Clifford Berry, he designed and built the first electronic digital computer, the ABC, the Adanasoff Berry computer. Working in the basement of Iowa State's physics building, Adanasoff and Berry assembled a stunning array of advances that together form the foundation of modern computing. Among them are a binary system of arithmetic, separate memory and computing functions, electronic amplifiers as on-off switches, and electronic circuits for logical addition and subtraction. World War II interrupted the work of Adanasoff and Berry. Adanasoff left Iowa State to work for the U.S. Navy. His invention was never patented. The original ABC was disassembled, scavenged for parts after the war. Later computing machines dwarfed the ABC in size and stature. It was not until a 1973 court case over the patent of one of those later computers, the ENIAC, that Adanasoff was recognized for his work. Although opposing lawyers argued that the ABC was never completed, that it did not work, still a federal judge voided the ENIAC patent and ruled that the basic ideas of modern computing came from one Dr. John Vincent Adanasoff. Public acceptance, however, has been slow. So to prove that Adanasoff's machine did in fact work, a team of Iowa State University and Ames Laboratory scientists, faculty, and students built an authentic, full-size, working replica of the ABC. Building the replica required considerable time and patience as the team retraced the steps taken by Adanasoff and Berry. Because the original computer no longer existed, the replica team relied on some of Adanasoff's original papers, grainy photographs, and the fading memories of those who took part in the original project. The team's goal was to produce a replica that would be as true to the original as possible. It required painstaking care in using vintage electronic parts, such as 1940s vacuum tubes, brushes, and card punches prevalent in the era, but hard to find today. It took nearly three years, but they succeeded thanks to the support of alumni and friends of Iowa State University and the Adanasoff family. And the machine does just what it was designed to do, compute electronically. The reconstruction of something like this is, is such great history. Uh, to reach back 57 years and, and see how far we have come is, is amazing. And it's also, it feels like we're doing something that's intellectually very right to give credit to these, these men, these pioneers that really started the whole thing. John Adanasoff did not live to see his computer rebuilt. He died in 1995. But the replica honors his achievement and all those before and after him who gave us the computer age. Since the beginning, many men have worked on computing and many have furnished elements that were important. This applies to Muckley, Eckert, some members of the staff such as Burks, Braidard and others. In a larger sense, no man invents anything. 
he builds and extends a little with his friends and on the shoulders of others, 